but I'm going to let her out and then get him in there and he can spend the day or so in there so she can have a bit of time out walking and getting, getting it up and running and healthy again. And yeah, well, he, he's the problem, so he's the one that you have to pay. And these two seem to think they were getting fed, but no, you've got loads of food in here. Do your job. I've consciously picked your nettle roots, so enjoy. So you can see a bit better now that there's actually a driveway across that dug out. Now I just need to sort of basically sort this mess out, get all this cleared out, uh, get all this sorted out. I'm going to burn that trailer full of wood, um, get rid of the last little bits and pieces. And then down here is getting something like, I think Rowan's coming down again later to do some more kindling. Because uh, shifting that would be a right pain. <laughs> They're just endlessly entertaining finding any angle to scratch any area. They've got a massive, that whole thing's there as a massive scratching post for them, but clearly that's getting an angle that they're enjoying. <laughs> anyway, yeah, uh, so get all this plastic shifted, get them joists probably stored in there, get that shifted, tied a load of them boards up down there. Obviously, I just put the sheeting on very well, so that's going to have to be redone. And then, yeah, probably just give everything a bit of a, a rake over and just get all bits and pieces up, which is going to be about as much fun as pulling teeth, but I'll make it look a lot neater and tidier. And then, yeah, see what else we get up to. So Brownie, the perennial pain in my ass, knocked that over. So, yeah, but then did something really, really helpful. And walked his way on down through there and into here for me. So I didn't have to chase him around or anything. So I'm going to leave him here for a day or so until the sheep stops limping. Um, obviously, I've got food and everything for him. But, yeah, just to uh, give them a bit of a break from being a pest. So, horsey prison for you for a day or two. He's just enjoying a bath. Let's see how close I can get before they start kicking off. So while we're looking at happy things, there's one little bit of bad news. The chicks are meant to be hatching today and there's only one been peeping through. It doesn't look like the rest are trying to present either, so Sam's keeping an eye on him, but we may only have one chick. Aww. These guys are finally getting the idea. Yeah, you get your nose in there. And this one is decidedly unhappy about being in here, but needs the girls to be able to chill out without somebody chasing them and picking on them. Yeah, he looks cute, like butter wouldn't melt, but he can be a little bit feisty. As you can see, my version of tidying does look a lot like destruction, but you've got to put it all to pieces before you put it all back together again, haven't you? And then I got to be a chef again. Yay! Well, at least I've still got to a fire. I've not got any further along. Still got all this to sort out whilst the fire's going. It looks a lot brighter on my camera than it actually is. Uh, but yeah, it's not where it wants to be, but can't leave the parents struggling, can we? So that's day 25. Uh, yeah, good day. Got Well, got a bit done. Didn't get nearly as far along as I wanted, but uh, went down and did some chefing for parents. Uh, you know, pretty busy. Fish Friday. And yeah, just serving a lot of the, the elderly residents in the community who have uh, been locked down. Because bear in mind, a lot of the elderly people have been locked down for uh, was it a week or two longer than the rest of us. So yeah, they're they're a week or so ahead. So I'll give them a little bit of sense of normality. So it's good. But yeah, always try and get a list of things to do. Never quite get through it. But I, I I'll crack on. Uh, but yeah, crack on tomorrow. Do some more. Uh, I want to get some planting done tomorrow as well. To be fair, that's uh, oh and car. Yeah, uh, managed to get a socket, couldn't find uh, the right size thingy, blah, blah, blah. Going to have the tool tomorrow, going to change bar plugs in a car. I break cars, I don't normally fix them, so this is like me reinventing the wheel or something. But yeah, anyway, let's see what day 26 has to offer. Bye, bye.